Hey, what's up, folks? Uh, yeah, so today I came out here to remove the uh, mass tree activity because um, it's going to rain tonight, so I wanted to make sure to get wet. Uh, and I just wanted to reflect on a, a conversation I had with uh, a couple of young men, which was actually pretty interesting and also really uh, eye-opening from my own um, percept my own perspective. Um, so the um, young men were passing by, and I was, I was taking down the mask. And I was like, hey, you want to participate? And they were like, oh, what is it? And I said, oh, it's called the Million Mask Movement. And so I handed them a, one a card. And uh, one of the young men said, oh, is that about MF Doom? And I'm like, um, who's MF Doom? And immediately that young man was like, oh, you don't know who MF Doom is? Oh, you ain't down. Now, at first I thought he was joking, but he was serious. Like he was, he took it really offensively that I didn't know who MF Doom was. Now, maybe you out there, are upset too that I don't know who MF Doom is, but I don't know. You know, I think I'm pretty aware of a lot of things, but I'm not aware. I did see a post on social media, so I think it's a magazine, a character or something, but I don't know. So uh, I say, well, yeah, you know, I'm not sure who MF Doom is, but I do know the masks that we're talking about are around these emotional masks. And then um, I handed one of the, the young men, he said, oh, I don't want to take a card. And that was the young man with the MF Doom. His friend right next to him said, no, I don't want one. But the other young man said, oh, I'll take one. I said, okay, thank you. Um, and then I went and gave him a flyer. So I said, well, hey, you can check out the documentary that's about our work and you can make your mask online also. And then uh, that young man who had already dismissed me about the MF Doom said something like, um, oh, so, uh, you know, this is about like, um, uh, masks of like that, that we wear. And I said, well, it's about emotional masks. You know, the, the fact that sometimes we're telling our friends that we're doing good and we're not, or we're pretending he says, well, sometimes they try and, this is what he said. He said, sometimes they try and push it. And you know, and I don't like that. Now I can already tell because I've been doing this work long enough is that that young man had some stirring happening in him. I don't know his story. I don't know anything about him. I only met him for like 25 seconds. But in that moment of him, like, uh, creating an adversarial connection and uh, dismissing the fact that he knows what I was talking about. I could tell that he knew and in his inside there was something going on. And I think one of the things that I really just um, awakened is, you know, uh, this work is ongoing and it's real. And he walked away. I just walked away. I was like, well, okay, all right, well, <laughs> What can I do about that? And then as I started, you know, the other two young men stayed. And then as I was uh, just telling them about, you know, what I see in this work around our young men and men, his, one of the friends said, hey, you know, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I don't want to interrupt you, but um, oh, that's my boy over there. And so I'm going to, I want to leave him by himself. And I said, well, look, let me just say this. And he started walking. He said, I, I just want to go hang on with my boy. And I was like, great. And the other young man, the third young man who was the one who took the card, actually, the one who was the most engaged, the, fair, the, the pressure the pressure to follow, the pressure to go along with whatever's going on sometimes causes some folks and some definitely our young men to miss out on opportunities for them. And so, uh, you know, because I take this work really serious and I think that sometimes I'm, I have lots of thoughts about it, but I, I was more just like, uh, this is the work that's so important to me. And so uh, just another sign of, of sometimes that everyone's not gonna hear the message and it's okay. And everyone's not gonna understand the message. Everyone's not gonna wanna hear the message and that's okay. But I'll speak to the willing and the willing will get what they need. And the other one young man who took a card and he took a flyer, he kept it and who knows what happens when they walked off in the other distant. But um, I'm, I'm really mindful of those young men. And I, as a teacher, I remember the same thing. The students who came in every day, did their work, I loved them all. But it was those ones who I couldn't reach that really just like stirred in me. I wasn't able just to be like, oh, forget him, whatever. I wasn't able to do that. I'm not able to do that about the young man who dismissed me for not knowing who MF Doom was. I'm more concerned about him than ever before because whatever it was that caused him to create that kind of battle over a character that I'm not, a, I'm not aware of uh, may have caused him to miss out on an opportunity to really like create a space to get real with his friends, even not with me, but with the people he was walking with. So um, the work continues. The Million Mask Movement is real. Uh, maybe you've experienced it in your own life, in your own family, with your own friends. And so hopefully this creates an opportunity for, with one picture and six words to actually 
um, help people take off those masks. And I'm talking about the emotional masks because I'm not talking about these masks. We got to keep wearing these. Thank you so much, everybody. Be safe out there. Happy New Year. Day one, down, almost out. Cheers.